Alright, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another project. I'm really getting into these makeup projects. I feel like this one will be a very long term project. I feel like this will be very fun to do because you will eventually learn my entire makeup inventory because I'm basically going to be going from oldest to newest in a couple of different categories. I'm not including powder, face powders because I own quite a few of them too. What I will be including are blushes, bronzers and eyeshadows. So I'm including palettes as well as singles and I also am going to be allowing these pro products to be dipped into my other projects. My spreadsheet actually has literally everything I own in um, bought order so oldest to newest and my oldest eyeshadow palettes are actually the ones that are in my project pan at the moment which is my colour institute palettes um, I, think it, I don't even know if they have a name because it's that old but it's kind of things rubbed off I know a lot of YouTube videos I've watched of this sort of challenge don't include palettes that have already got pan in it um, I won't be including like the blushes or bronzers that I pan but I will be including palettes that do have pan so this is the first one and this one obviously has got the two pans in it you'll have known this well from my project pan and yes I am including this into a different product at the same time I think it's allowed so I've actually already number generated this and chosen a shade I'm going to work on and the shade I'm going to be working on is this one at the bottom down here um, and yes this will be able to double up as the pan for the project pan as well as this pan for this project so yeah that is the first one I'm going for this one here which has got two pans in it already which happened prior to any of the projects I was working on and for this one I rolled a 6 so that lands me on the shade up here so that's the shade I'll be working on um, I haven't yet decided if I'm actually going to be working on these at the same time or if I'm going to be working on them separately I think further on down the line I'm probably going to work on one eyeshadow at a time and we have got my bronzer so this is my oldest bronzer this is Bourjois bronzing powder it's still smells like chocolate very well loved this is obviously my oldest one so it's going to be well loved there's already a sizable dip in it i don't think this will take that long to be fair i'm going to be using this project secondarily to my project pan so i'll probably be reaching at least these two products less than those ones so this i feel like this could still take some time to hit pan on but yeah this is so old I feel like it's time to um, get some serious usage out of it and let it go basically I want to kind of finish this so bad it's been in my collection for so long like I'm talking like pre-2007 same as those eyeshadows that I was just showing you so yeah looking forward to getting rid of this one so and then I'm also going to bring in a blush. So now my oldest blush is a like a loose powdered blush. Uh, this is my oldest blush. This is from Maybelline New York. This is a pure blush mineral. Um, it's a loose one and I don't quite know how that's gonna work as a pan. Liquids or um, powdered stuff like that, minerals. I'm not going to include so the second oldest blush I own is blush flush by Topshop and it looks like this and this is also obviously very very old 10 years old and it looks barely used even though I have used this a fair few times I guess because it's a cream and it's quite pigmented so a little goes a long way anyway um, I'm looking forward to getting some usage out of this one obviously I think this is probably going to be one of my one of the longest 
products in this challenge, I think. Blushes are very difficult to pan, so this is going to be interesting. Also, I haven't really quite worked out time-wise how I'm going to incorporate these into my everyday makeup routine because obviously I'm using my project pan stuff most days so I need to kind of figure out how to rotate it that is my update for you guys for now obviously later on down the line I may increase and add more than one bronzer or blush or eyeshadow in the mix maybe I should bring in a single eyeshadow as well as a palette so I can have a um, start on both sorts um, but yeah I think I might do my updates every three months I mean there is a potential that I'll have panned by the update I think that'd be interesting and you'll learn my entire like makeup collection minus my foundations and face powders and stuff but there we go that's it that's my little update for you guys today um, I think I'll be doing these maybe every three months um, I, I feel like it depends on the progress of these products um, I might bring it forward but I think the latest will be three or four months there we go I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you guys again soon bye